cute peace sign. I've been really into the 70s lately, so I was like, I want to make something like 70s-ish for my room. So I decided to go with a cute little peace sign garland kind of thing. I put this on Instagram, and I got a bunch of questions asking how I did it. And I had a feeling that was going to happen, so I actually, when I was making this, I kind of just set up the camera and filmed. So if you guys are new to my channel, then be sure to hit the subscribe button, and also give this video a thumbs up if you guys like the 70s and the hippie kind of vibe. If you guys want to learn how to make this peace sign, then just keep watching. So what we'll be needing are these long wires. I also have some Christmas tree hanger hooks. Uh, you guys can just use a, another type of thinner wire. I have some scissors, some fairy lights. I have two types of garland. I'm only showing one here though. And then I have this hoop. I'm gonna try to put links in the description box for everything I use, that way it's easier for you guys. But first what I did, I just laid the garland on top of the wire and cut off the excess. Now I'm taking these little Christmas tree hangers, like I said, you guys can just use a thinner wire, and I'm wrapping these around the wire and the garland to help secure the garland on top. Um, I'm sure you guys could try to use hot glue, I just feel like that would be um, kind of tedious because the wires are so thin on this hoop, so I'm not really sure how well that would work. But next I'm taking this thinner wire which I got from Michaels, and this part would be a lot easier if you do this before you put the garland on. And I knew that, but I was just so excited I didn't want to wait. So anyway, um, I'm just making the peace sign part with this. So I'm just kind of wrapping the um, little pieces onto the wire to form a peace sign. And I'm sorry if I sound like miserable right now, but it's 8 in the morning and I'm super sick. So um, I just sound kind of weird. But anyway, now I'm taking the next part of the garland or the second um, garland that I got and I'm measuring it out for the little peace sign. So now I'm taking the Christmas tree hangers and once again, I'm just kind of using them to secure the two pieces together. And for this, I'm cutting off the excess, which can be a little dangerous, so just be careful. You guys can also take off some of the leaves or some of the flowers if you guys want it to not be so cluttered, which is what I did, as you guys can see. Now what I'm doing is taking any of the extra pieces from the garland and I'm kind of just putting them onto our wreath. That way it can just look a little bit fuller if there were any empty spots. And I think this part really helped to bring the wreath together. Now I'm taking the fairy lights and like I said, if I can find a link for all this stuff, I'll put it in the description box. But I'm wrapping this around the wreath and I'm just kind of weaving it in and out of the flowers that it stays in and now I'm in my room and I'm pretty much just marking on my wall with a pencil where I want the nails to go and I'm just nailing those babies in and hanging up our wreath. I love looking at this at night. It looks like so romantic. I don't know why but it's just so dreamy and I'm obsessed with it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys do recreate this then be sure to send me a picture to either my Instagram or Twitter. I hope you guys are all having a lovely day and I will talk to you next time. Bye!